the utility of CT perfusion essentially remains in an ischemic process also to uh, kind of give us a review of the quality of collateral flow and also because it allows us to the most important thing to pick up on potentially salvageable brain which can with the use of uh, uh, the various uh, modalities of management to help in picking up CTF and CBV mismatched areas which is what is going to help us to see which are the areas where we call it as the tissue at risk wherein there is a preserved CBV which is the cerebral blood volume as opposed to a reduction or a severely reduced cerebral blood flow. So what do we mean by this? That means there is a critical level. This critical level is what? This is the likely reversible deficit. This is the point of exhausted re re uh, reserve of the cerebral tissue, approximately 20 to 25 ml per 100 grams per minute as established in literature. However, even today, up to 18 ml per 100 grams per minute is also acceptable for early stroke management. However, beyond which, we do know that there is permanent loss of function and thereby result in infarcted tissue. So early perfusion disturbances, actually, if we pick up what idea is to be able to diagnose stroke before the morphologic changes occur due to ischemia. As for the acute stroke timeline today, the golden period used to be zero to three hours earlier. But of 2008 and beyond, we have now been able to stretch it to 4.5 hours for IV thrombolysis. And beyond which, of course, there is no meaning because as we know that mechanical embolectomy can be even up to eight hours. So our whole stroke diagnosis moves as a rushed modality to check up and find use CT perfusion or uh, the diffusion MRI with the mismatch and pick up stroke and ischemic um, tissues much earlier than was available. 